Hello investors, welcome to the channel where I talk about investing for the long term through investing in companies that pays a dividend. This is known as dividend growth investing. My name is Michael and today we're going to start off with looking at how the market ended for the week and then look at stock futures. Just taking a quick look at the major indices for the week. For the S&P 500 index, it is down 14.98%. For the NASDAQ index, it is down 12.64%. And lastly, for the Dow Jones index, it is down 17.30%. The markets are heavily down again this week, and it's expected to go down even further in the coming future. If you're able to hold down a job and have excess amounts of income after expenses, then consider dollar cost averaging your way into the market right now. Right now is a great buying opportunity into the market because we are essentially pulling back to market levels during 2017. If you look just at the S&P 500 index, it last closed down at 2,300. And the last time the S&P 500 index was down around 2,300 was all the way back right about here. In early 2017 so that's pretty much where the market is at right now some of these companies right now within the S&P 500 index within the Nasdaq within the Dow Jones they're experiencing little to no consumer activity in their business and have closed down operations the majority of good companies think Apple Johnson & Johnson and Costco will have a balance sheet of which they have a lot of cash and revenue coming into their business and then they can remain open during economic downturns. Other companies such as airlines, oil, and real estate aren't so lucky. The stock market is pricing in the futures of all these businesses due to the viral pandemic afflicting the world. Now, if you're a viewer of this channel, then you would know that I am a big proponent of buying into the market when there is a lot of volatility and a lot of economic downturn assuming you've done the basic fundamental research of looking at the balance sheets of each company and see that the bottom line shows profitability in these companies now let's take a look at the overall news that's affecting the market if we look at this article right here it tells us that the Dow has gone down so far as to wipe out over three years of market gains. And some people are thinking that it is the bottom while others aren't. As everyone should be aware, the main culprit for driving down the stock market has been the COVID-19 virus pandemic. Just looking at how the markets closed this past week in all of the major indices, we can see that the stock market reached its levels of early 2017, which is pretty much three years of economic growth has been lost in a matter of three months. In addition to the stock market plummeting downward, people are losing their jobs. In this article right here, it's telling us that Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So as many of you are aware, a lot of businesses are shutting down to promote social distancing which means a lot of people are losing their jobs. Furthermore, according to the Nelson data, about 73% of employees live paycheck to paycheck and make under $50,000 a year. In addition, at least 30% of adults in the workforce have $0 in their emergency savings. In addition, the Nelson data also shows that 33% of families making between $50,000 to $100,000 a year are also living paycheck to paycheck. Lastly, the Nelson data also shows that 25% of families making $150,000 or more a year are also living paycheck to paycheck. So that's a lot of people living paycheck to paycheck and not having a lot of savings for economic times when the market is full of unknowns and everything begins to plummet. 
If you look at some of my previous videos, you would know that I am a huge proponent of working hard, making a lot of money, and using some of that money that you earn into a savings. In my past videos, I also recommend that people live well below their means as they make a lot of money through having multiple streams of income. And doing this allows you to try and save money. And what I recommend for people to do is to save at least $1,000 as part of your emergency fund. And what you do afterwards is you repeat the cycle of living well below your means, making a lot of money, and saving money into your emergency fund until you have a minimum of 6 to 12 months of living expenses saved up in cash in a high yield savings account as your emergency fund so that if anything ever happens to you or the economy you have money to support yourself and potentially your own family just to get a bit personal this week i lost one of my jobs while the other job that i was working for has me working home pretty much indefinitely due to the virus that's inflicting people around the world. And in the midst of all this chaos, I've been applying extremely broadly around my area. Pretty much I've been applying to any job and every job that's in my vicinity that's willing to hire me right now. Because the most important thing to have right now is to have enough cash in order to survive. Right now, Everyone should have enough cash to pay for daily expenses such as food, water, transportation, and shelter. Once you have that going on, then anything else left over from your job should be put into savings. And once you save about 6 to 12 months of living expenses all in cash and placed in a high yield savings account, then any extra money should be put into investments because right now is a great time to invest in wonderful companies at fantastic prices and you're not likely to have this kind of opportunity again for a while. Now for people who have recently lost their jobs and are unable to find work, the government is trying to step in and help you with that. So in lighter news, the government, which includes President Donald Trump and the Republicans, have created a sort of universal basic income plan in which people who are out of work due to the epidemic will receive money. However, they do have to most likely file for unemployment benefits in order to receive this aid. According to this article, adults who are working individuals will receive about $1,200 each, while children will receive about $500 per household, but this is stipulated on income. In addition, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin says that the White House plans to allocate $300 billion for small businesses, noting that there will be a loan forgiveness for employees who keep workers on payroll. In addition, $2,000 billion would also be used for more facilities with the Federal Reserve along with secured lending to airlines and other crucial indices hurt by the pandemic. This is very important because if the government doesn't step in to help the middle class, then the unemployment rate could rise up to potentially about 20%, maybe even more. And this is levels of when we were suffering from the Great Depression a long time ago. And that's pretty much the news that's been affecting us this week. It's been a lot of bad news, but I have confidence that we can get through this and that the economy will surely recover. Maybe not in the next couple of months or by the end of this year, but I'm hoping that by the end of this year, we will have created a vaccine or some kind of cure that we can be using to cure people and by the beginning of next year we'll have this disease under control and not have people die from being infected. So right now I want 
to move onward to see how my portfolio has been doing this week. Looking at the past year, my portfolio is down 62.5%, causing a loss of about $3,030. Looking at the past quarter, my portfolio is down 42.97%, causing a loss of about $3,660. Looking at the past month, my portfolio is down 35.86%, causing a loss of about $3,750. Looking at the past week, my portfolio is down 15.73%, causing a loss of about $1,275. And finally, looking at the past day, my portfolio is actually up 63.85% causing a gain of about $2,670. So that's a lot of red and a lot of market fluctuation and volatility. You know, this is just something that we have to go through and be okay with. I'm pretty much okay with all this market volatility I have enough saving in my savings account to live off of assuming that this disaster continues on for a couple of months and I plan on getting back into the workforce even though times are really tough so I'm hopeful that this portfolio will eventually rebound with the market and perhaps even outperform it but right now we'll have to just wait and see however luckily just looking at the past week alone, even the past day, I am continuing to earn dividends. And this is the number that I'm more focused on, is that the earned dividends is continuing to grow regardless of how much market loss I have obtained. So just from this portfolio, just since its inception, you know, it's made almost $180 in passive income. And I'm totally okay with that. Even though I see that the market losses are over $3,000, I'm okay because I know that eventually my portfolio will recoup those losses and continue to earn me more money through dividends. The earned dividends number is the reason for investing in this kind of portfolio even in market downturns because this number, the earned dividends right here, will continue to go up regardless of what happens. And the only reason why this number would ever stop moving up forward is if all the companies that I invest in suddenly stop paying dividends. And if a company stops paying their dividends, then I would be more than happy to sell the company and then invest in something else. Now, let's take a look at the activities portion of my portfolio. Uh, this week, I only submitted one buy, and I think it was through auto reinvesting, so nothing major there. But let's see here. On the 16th, I bought about $10 worth of Gladstone Corporation. So that's something that is pretty cool. With all the dividends I've earned from all the companies that I hold, I was able to put that money back into the market. Now, the item that I want to see here is the amount of dividends that I've earned this week. So in addition, this week, I have also earned a decent amount of dividends from various companies which I can use to reinvest in my portfolio. So I earn one cent from Stag Industrials, a dollar 64 cents from Vermilion Energy, 21 cents from Consolidate Edison, three cents from Dover Corporation, 26 cents from Duke Energy Corporation, 19 cents from DuPont de Nours, 13 cents from Arbor Realty Trust, 74 cents from PBF Logistics, 2 cents from Stanley Black & Decker, 22 cents from Avery Denison Corporation, 16 cents from Equinox, 17 cents from Pope Resources, 30 cents from Dominion Energy, $1.10 from Gaming and Leasers Properties, 44 cents from General Motors Company, Four cents from Mantec International Corporation, two cents from Nvidia, fifty-eight cents from VF Corporation, 
four cents from waste management and 11 cents from Lind PLC. These are dividends that I earned as a result of me owning shares of each company. This money that you see right here is money that I did not have to put any effort into earning besides clicking a few buttons to buy shares. Essentially, I'm earning money while I sleep and this method right here is referred to as passive income. Earnings which are derived from an enterprise like a rental property or a company which require little to no effort to earn and maintain. Although these amounts may seem small, every little bit helps and will eventually snowball into something bigger through compounded interest. And that right now concludes the update portion of my portfolio. Thank you so much for watching the video until the end. And I wish everybody luck in this financially difficult situation. And I hope that you and all your loved ones will be safe from this deadly virus. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up as it will help the channel grow immensely. If you have any comments or questions, then leave them down below in the video and I'll do my best to personally address it either in the comments or answer it in future videos. I greatly appreciate everyone watching my videos and I hope that everyone stays safe and healthy so that I may speak to you all again very soon.